five to go here in the fourth quarter, Christy. A 90-79 Connecticut lead. Well, it's just been tough for Washington to get the stops necessary, and Connecticut is now getting themselves into the painted area after shooting a blistering 64% from three for this game. Well over their 31% clip coming into this one, ninth best in the WNBA from there. Oh. Sykes' layup was too strong as Carrington now controlling for the Sun. A little in-out dribble off the spin. And it'll be Mystic's basketball off the out of bounds. Yeah, that was a quick shot by Connecticut, but they have been really good in their fast break opportunities. A 16 to 6 advantage in that category over the Mystics. But right now, you would think that Washington may have to look for some threes with the time and score being what it is right now. Edwards looking for an outlet, gets it to Sykes. Eight on the shot clock. That'll be deflected out of bounds by Mabry. Five on the shot clock for Washington. Well, plenty of time for a clean look, but it's got to be solid screens being set here. And again, maybe looking for Washington to get a, a triple try out of this possession. Sykes will take it. Jones with the rebound. Got to take him, though. I mean, that's what you need right now. You got to do it. Under two minutes to go now in this fourth quarter. High ball screen and Jones likes to slip that. Engsler got stuck under that screen though. Bonner almost got that triple. Edwards managed to get that rebound off of Jones. In transition, gets it to Engsler for the land. Really good pass. Up ahead, inside. Engsler, the ability to pay that one off. Harris getting to the hoop. And we'll head to the free throw line. We'll take a look, Christy, at the handle of the game. Yeah, the connectivity for Washington has been great. You see the great pass there by the rookie, Aaliyah Edwards, downstairs to Emily Engsler. And Washington with 26 paint points, 22 assists on 29 made shots. They've also knocked in 13 threes, but you know, for me, I'm looking over at what Connecticut has been able to do. They've gotten to the free throw line 21 times. They've made all 21 of them right now. And then for Washington, 10 of 13 from the line. So I heard Chas Melvin talking to Wes Hall in the pregame show and also at halftime saying Washington needs to get themselves to the line if they can a little bit more. But that's the separator as well as the three-point shooting prowess that Connecticut has presented this afternoon. That handle of the game was brought to you by Caesar Sportsbook. Here's Walker Kimber. Now Sutton who's into the game. And they're going to get Nelson Adota on a foul, pushing Edwards in the back. And Caitlin Bickle will check in for the first time here this afternoon. Edwards, now Walker Kimbrough, 10 on the shot clock. Try to go to Edwards, and they're going to get a foul on Bickle. And we'll take a look at the drive of the game brought to you by Carmax. Brittany Sykes in this first half just put Dijanae Carrington on notice. Had her on a little bit of skates early with the in and out dribble. Been a little hezzy, and then the drop under the contest. Brittany Sykes, nine points on the afternoon. And the Mystics, after today, will have a couple days off before they play again at Dallas. Angsler with the rebound off the miss. Walker Kimbrough off the kick, got it to go. Yeah, that's the toughest three-point shot to guard, other than a transition triple to kickouts from offensive rebounds. No one is established or organized defensively. Nice drop home by Shatori Walker Kimbrough from Maryland. I mean, I'm sorry, for the Mystics from Maryland. Six on the shot clock, kick out to Harris. Four seconds, pull up, jumper on the baseline goes for Ty Harris. Coming up on 30 seconds to go here in the quarter. Melvin attacking, Burton. 
Got the block on that and a Studu fall. Kept that alive for Connecticut. Burton. Yeah, Veronica Burton is just such a menace on the defensive end. A couple of blocks for Connecticut this afternoon. Made a difference for them. Off the bench. And dribbling. This one out with the shot clock winding dying down. Excuse me, Connecticut will take the shot clock violation and we'll take a look at the upcoming schedule brought to you by Ticketmaster. As I mentioned, they'll head to Dallas for a Tuesday matchup and then to Phoenix. And then they'll welcome in the Lynx, head out to Chicago, welcome in the dream as the game will come to an end. A 96-85 win for Connecticut. Yeah, it was a 16 to 8 advantage in fast break points for Connecticut. Also, we're going to talk about the three ball falling for the Sun in this one. A 61% clip from out there, 14 made threes. A 96 85 win for Connecticut here, Wes, as it's time now for the crossover.